Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Yasser, obviously from the Carbon Connection. I know it's been a while, um, but yeah, I ran into some more N54 problems. That seems like the only time I actually make videos. But yeah, um, my car threw this code over here, and after some research, I realized that it is probably the Varna solenoids. I have cleaned them out twice before, um, previously before the engine rebuild and once after the engine rebuild. The car's been running smoothly until now, so I figured I'm just going to go ahead and replace them. I've bought OEM parts from BMW, so I'm going to take you through the process of changing them. So like I said, I purchased brand new Fano solenoids from BMW. In the event that you are looking for these, this is the part number. So yeah, let's take a look at what they look like. So as you can see, this is a brand new Varna solenoid. Uh, you would need to get two, one for the intake side and one for the exhaust side of things. Make sure that it does come with this O-ring over here, which I'm gonna slide up to the top when installing. So the rubber O-ring sits over here, and of course I'm gonna slot it into the engine. And this is where the connectors will plug into, like I mentioned, there are two different ones one for the intake side and one for the exhaust side so yeah let's get into what you would need for this quick diy so there isn't a load of space to work with to get to the varna solenoid bolts or rather the varna solenoids themselves which are in the front of the engine down here hopefully i'll be able to get some better lighting in there once i've opened up so first things first i'm going to remove this airflow pipe all you'd need is a torx 20 so t20 to get that out With the air scoop out of the way, I can just about get to the Varna solenoids. Like I mentioned, they are located at the front of the engine. This job would be a lot easier if I had the time and space to remove all the piping in front of the engine, but unfortunately, I had to work with what I had. The Varna solenoids are attached to the engine with two 10mm hex bolts. Next up, I laid down a microfiber cloth just to avoid any oil spillage and to catch the bolts in the event that they fell down the engine bay. Due to the very limited space, I had to use a very small wrench to get to the Varna solenoid bolts. To get the wrench in, I placed it face up and then turned it towards the bolts to obviously attach and start loosening. By no means is this the most ideal way of doing this DIY, but with the limited time and space that I had, it's what I just had to do. After a huge struggle, I finally managed to pull the Varna solenoid out of the engine. When removing the Varna solenoid, it's also important to remember which connector goes with which Varna solenoid. Another important thing to remember is that the O-ring doesn't always come out directly with the Varna solenoid. So if you don't see it when you've pulled out your solenoid, make sure that you stick your finger into the engine bay and pull that O-ring out without dropping it in. Unfortunately, with my luck on the day, I dropped this plastic ring spacer down into the engine bay. Luckily for me, the old Varna solenoid had the exact same one on it, and I just used that to complete the DIY. However, I figured I need to show you guys how to actually put the Varna solenoid back in. With the solenoid out again, I managed to remove the plastic ring spacer. However, it's important to remember that you need to remove the O-ring as well, that's the rubber O-ring, to get the plastic spacer out. I then installed the new plastic ring spacer and then the O-ring after that. So to avoid making the same mistake that I did and not dropping your O-ring into the engine bay, I'd suggest that when you're reinstalling the Varna solenoid, put it face up the way I'm showing you right now, instead of face down, which is what I did and caused the havoc. After lowering the Ivana solenoid into the engine bay, you simply turn it forward and slot it into the engine. This isn't very easy considering the space that we have, but you can definitely make it work. Once slotted back in, you need to make sure that it lines up. Of 
course a hole with where the bolt will go in and then reconnect the connector. You can then go ahead and proceed to redo the bolt. Remember it's a hex 10. So you're joining me a day later, I'm back in the 335. Um, yesterday's mission to change the Varna solenoids weren't as easy as I'd hoped. Um, so I didn't bother videoing afterwards. I was drenched in sweat. I was super frustrated um, due to the fact that there just isn't a lot of space to work with at the front of the motor. Um, ideally, I should have taken the engine cover itself off. I think that would have freed up a little bit of space. Um, but either way, I got the job done. Um, slight mishap, I unfortunately dropped the plastic spacer. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, yeah, so I dropped this at the front of the engine bay when putting in the new solenoid. And um, yeah, so today I just popped over at Tiger Wheel and Tire and they were helpful enough to let me just put the car on the lift. They helped me drop the splash tray just a little bit, got that out. Luckily though, I could just use the spacer from the old solenoid um, and pop that in there so that I could still complete the installation. Um, but yeah, it was just a bit of a mission to get it sorted out. But yeah, hopefully I managed to document it as best as I could. And hopefully you guys can use this information to change the vinyl solenoids on your 335, or I think it's also applicable to the N52 motor, uh, which you probably find in 325s and 330Is. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning into another episode with me, Yasser, at the Carbon Connection. Please remember to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I really do appreciate you guys' support, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.